Hello, welcome to the Mark Andy Digital One Technical Overview video. In just a moment, our digital print technician, Aaron St. John, is going to take you through the press from unwind to rewind to explain all of the technology behind this innovative equipment. Mark Andy built the Digital One from the ground up to be a practical CMYK standalone digital label press for the everyday converter. Since Digital One's release in fall 2016, adopters of this technology have reported 35% more work, 18% cost reduction in overtime, material waste, and consumables, and many are able to deliver to their customer in 24 hours. Thanks, Kristen. Welcome to Digital One. Let's begin with the power supply. The press runs on a single phase, 220 volt, 90 amp power supply. The Digital One is completely servo driven. There are no exhausts or auxiliary components. Everything, including the air compressor, is built in to make the press a standalone unit with a small footprint. It is capable of speeds up to 62 feet per minute at 1200 DPI. The unwind will accept up to 30 inch rolls from four and a half inches to 13 inches in width. As the material goes through the unwind, from the unwind, it goes to the web guide. The web guide will steer our substrate and keep it in, in alignment. From there, we go to our surface web cleaner where any particles will be taken off the surface of the web and that will help ensure that we have good print quality as well as no damage to any components. As the web leaves the web cleaner, it will go through our first nip, our in-feed nip for tension control, and it will go through our in-feed dancer. The in-feed dancer will adjust for tension as the web travels through the digital engine. The digital engine is a four color process, dry toner engine, and it will accept a wide variety of PDFs. The PDFs that are sent to the digital engine are what we'll call a six layer PDF, where we will take our file, we will strip away our flexo and die plates and send them to be output conventionally as we would for a regular flexo press. And then we'll turn off those layers and send the rest of the PDF to the press using Acrobat Reader, which is free and downloadable. The web then leaves the digital engine and goes through the second dancing roller. The second dancing roller also allows us to maintain tension as it goes through the digital engine. The mid-feed nip then meets the web and sends it to our second web guide. Second web guide will allow us lateral movement toward or away from the operator to keep the die and flexo station in registration. In this instance, we're running a cold foil, so our web is going to run through our 2200 flexo station and it's gonna meet with our cold foil. It's gonna come down through our lamination nip where it goes into our UV 8 watt LED lamp, and then the waste is taken up by our waste windup. As the waste is being taken away, it passes through our RD scores. The RD scores will cut the liner, allowing it to be removed with the waste from our die station. Our die station is a rotary die station, which will accept eight and a half to 18 inch repeat length dies. As the web leaves the die station, our waste matrix is taken up and the web travels through our shear slitters. Shear slitter cartridge is removable, allowing it to be placed on a workbench for easy setup. Shear slitters are able to be placed every half inch in increments across the entire web for multiple stream rewinding. From there, the web goes to the exit pacing roll, creating more control over the web. The exit pacing roll between the mid feed and final nip creates ideal conditions for the converting portion of the process. The web then passes through the final nip and the finished product is taken to our dual upper and lower rewinds, which will accept up to 16 inch rolls. 